we first open CAMBAM, there are a few things that need to be set up to, uh, in the environment to get going. First thing we're going to do is make sure that we're using units of inches for this project. The next thing we want to do is go to the System tab and choose the default post processor. Uh, that's pretty much all that's needed to do this simple demo here. So back to the Drawing tab. Now what we're going to do is open our DXF file. Go to File, Open. We're going to be carving a vent pattern out of sheet aluminum. You see we've got our vent pattern that we're going to cut out, plus we have a bunch of stuff that we don't want. First thing to do is to get rid of all of the elements in the drawing that we don't need. You can do that by clicking and dragging to select multiple items and then hit the Delete key. You can also control click and select multiple items and then again hit the delete key. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and recenter. Now we're going to go through and select all of the construction elements that were used in the original drawing that we don't need for the machining. So we select all of those. Go ahead and delete those. Just a few more, some center points and a construction circle. And now we're left with just the pattern that we want to machine out. If we zoom out, next thing we need to do is center the origin in the middle of our pattern. We can do that by selecting the entire pattern, then right click, transform, and then click on center and that puts our pattern right, uh, center of the pattern right at the origin. Again, zoom in and out to recenter. Now if you'll notice, the various uh, segments are not actually connected when they were imported from the DXF. What we're going to do is we're going to select everything, and then we're going to right click, go to Edit, Join, and then we give it a join tolerance of a thousandth of an inch and that connects all of the various segments into closed entities, as you can see here. Now we're ready to actually do our machining. We're going to machine all these features, or uh, establish the tool paths all at one time. So we select the entire pattern. Now we can, for this we can either select a profile where we just cut along the edge, or a pocket where we mill out the center. Because this is sheet aluminum, we'll be able to just use the profile function. So when we click on profile in the machining operations it creates a machining operation called profile. Now below uh, we have a whole bunch of parameters. We can look at the uh, advanced parameters and see there are quite a few parameters that we can select but for this application we'll just uh, use the basic parameters. First thing we want to do is we want to set whether we're cutting the inside or the outside. We're cutting the inside of this pattern. Uh, the name we can leave the unchanged. The material is 40 thousandths thick, so we're going to actually set the uh, final target depth to 50 thousandths, and we're going to cut it all on a single pass, so we'll just go ahead and say the depth, depth increment is also 50 thousandths. Now we're going to slow the uh, default uh, cut rate, feed cut rate, down to 10 inches per minute, and the plunge feed rate down to 5, and set the tool diameter to an eighth inch diameter tool. With all these parameters set, we can go back up to uh, Profile, right-click, and click on Generate Tool Paths. Now you can see it's actually got the whole set of tool paths. You can see it cuts a little circle for the mounting holes in the corner and the paths for the slots. You can also uh, hold down the Alt uh, key and drag the mouse, and you can look at the cutting uh, cutter path in 3D. You can see we actually uh, go up and down into the material and cut around the pattern. Get back to the normal view. You can go to View, XY Plane. Uh, zoom back out. Now we right click on Profile and generate the G code for this pattern. Uh, CAMBAM will automatically generate a part of uh, a file name uh, with our default part number and our machining operation Profile 1. So we just can go ahead and save that. Now we're ready to use PSC and C to actually carve the uh, pattern. First thing we need to do when we run the PSC and C program is to open the G code file that was stored with CAMBAM. 
I'm going to click on the same file name and open. Uh, file appears in the window. Uh, we click on contouring first to create smooth paths. Next thing we're going to be doing is using the jog buttons, uh, X, Y, and Z jog buttons, and also the hand wheels, and then also the uh, set origin buttons to establish the origin of our part. Uh, this is done in two parts. The first, we use a pointy tool and we line it up uh, cranking the hand wheels and using the jog buttons uh, to a fiducial mark on the plate that we want to cut out. So we first find the XY origin and set those. Next we put in the actual tool and we just cut, come down until we're just touching the surface, top surface of the part. Set the Z origin And now we're ready to go ahead and start machining. First we'll set the feed rate a little bit lower just to be sure that we aren't running too fast and go ahead and start the g-code. If you get an invalid tool number uh, message, don't worry about that. Just click on start g-code again. You get another prompt to turn on the spindle and then you can go ahead and finally click on g-code and it'll start the execution of the program.